for me learning is uh, opening new challenges for new challenges and also opportunity for for a developing country to to learn and to be able to uh, get the, the advantage from from a developed country e learning for me means that it's a continuous uh, learning process and uh, i can always uh, learn or study you never meet your 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 teacher you you just meet online however for example there are some examinations that uh, it is proctored you have to go to a testing center you have to go somewhere and take the exam e learning is a tool for capacity development and basically it's the use of ict tools so that you can um, build the capacities of uh, people for me e learning is kind of tools the new the new approach for the study i mean it's very useful in the future specifically e learning means that you must learn you can learn something through that application of it i'm working in environmental management and biotechnology so by uh, through e-learning, we can uh, disseminate and update the information about the environmental management, not only for the, the people in uh, education or which has a good education level, but to all the people because environmental is uh, about all people, not only for, for the people who has education. So we have uh, encouraged these people through e-learning. It's uh, helped me a lot in in my uh, my work to provide uh, my uh, my core and my material and resource to my students. Right now, I'm an instructor at the UP Open University. So it is the cyber university of the system uh, of University of the Philippines. So um, I teach on undergraduate uh, course um, it's multimedia studies and it's under the bachelor of arts in multimedia studies program so um, it is my work it is my life <laughs> uh, i help with the technical as well as the instructional um, aspects of this particular course so e-learning i breathe i live <laughs> and i do e-learning Nowadays, a lot of people can join together to study with each other. They don't uh, have to move from one place to another place to take part in the class. So they can study anytime and anywhere. That is one of the most important advantages of e-learning. Uh, besides that, uh, you can save a lot of money because you don't have to travel so much. And whatever you get, you can share with other people because when you post your assignment or your essay, everybody can see the, the authors, the materials, the courses, so they can get for themselves. So it is a very good way. In my country, uh, when, we, when you travel to the province uh, such as uh, Mudokiri, Arab Tanakiri, Sometimes you challenge with the internet connection. You cannot access the internet. So uh, e-learning cannot help you I mean everywhere. Uh, it it means that you cannot uh, uh, join the e-learning call in, in the Mundulgiri or Aratnakiri, especially in the rural area of Cambodia. So it, it is, uh, they are a challenge for the e-learning, I think, yeah. I would prefer still both. There is a, a, a classroom set up and there is also an online setup. The classroom setup will be uh, for topics which is harder to explain when it is online. Actually, it's harder to teach online because you have to give the instructions step by step and one by one. Rather, when you are inside the classroom, you just deliver it and it's over. But in online, you have to put it, uh, you have to write it, you have to email it and ensure them that, uh, it, that it is delivered to them. Otherwise, they can always say, I didn't receive any instructions so you know it's harder but so but for me i would prefer both so for topics which is harder to explain online i would prefer that to be on a classroom setup but for activities or other lessons it can be online